Okay, class, now in this module, we're going to discuss what to put in your compost pile. So we've been discussing a lot of things about what goes on in the compost pile, and what kind of things live in the compost pile, but now we wanna know exactly what we should be putting in there. So, though all organic matter degrades over time, attention should be paid to what goes into a managed compost pile. This is what we've been talking about. Some materials do attract unwanted pests, so we want to avoid those materials. Some materials give off foul odors. Don't want that in our compost pile. Some materials have compounds that slow the process. Again, out of there. So think of composting as microbe farming. We're actually trying to get these uh, microbes um, the right conditions they need so they can thrive. We're trying to basically make them happy. So what do microbes need? How do we make them happy? First of all, they need carbon. High carbon compounds are, have energy that they need for their metabolism. They also need nitrogen so they can biosynthesize proteins, enzymes, and nucleic acids. They are gonna need water for movement and it's essential for life functions. Oxygen for respiration and they need a hospital and hospitable environment, just like we do. So food, water, air, and a place to live. So when we talk about things to put in our compost, you're gonna see this a lot. We're gonna be talking about browns versus greens. And that really doesn't necessarily mean that that has to be the color they are, but frequently it is. So raw material is generally classified as either brown material or green material. So what are we talking about? Brown material, they do break down more slowly. They are higher in carbon, so they have a high carbon to nit nitrogen ratio. They are typically strong and fibrous. They are frequently dry. They don't have any moisture of their own inside of them. Even if the pile of leaves is wet, the leaf itself is a dry material uh, once it's uh, fallen from the tree. They are bulky, typically. They take up a lot of space but it provides texture and air pockets, which can be good, can be bad. Sometimes you have to pay attention to what you're putting in. Uh, Dr. Joe mentioned earlier about preparing the material, so we'll talk about that later. Green materials, they do break down more rapidly. They are high in nitrogen, so they have a low carbon to nitrogen ratio. They are typically soft and pliable. They do have a high moisture content. So this is a, like the moisture is inside of them. So grass clippings have a lot of moisture inside of them. And they're easily compacted. So they, uh, they go together well, they pack together tightly, which again can be a good thing or a bad thing. So we'll talk about that. So when we're talking about some brown materials, we got dry leaves. It's fall right now that we're doing this class. So we got lots of opportunity to go out and get dry leaves to put in our compost pile. Twigs and branches, these can be good, but a lot of times you want to prepare this material and break it up a little better. Corn cobs and stalks, newspaper, and junk mail. I put my, all my junk mail in my compost pile. Rice holes, cardboard, burlap, eggshells, straw and hay, natural fiber. You can put, if you have an old shirt that's made out of cotton, you can throw that in there. It'll break down just fine. Feathers, pine needles, sawdust, wood chips, all these things are brown material, even if they're not brown per se. So if feathers are white, um, you could have green construction paper, but it's still brown. <laughs> so when we're talking about greens, we got grass clippings like I mentioned earlier, a lot of moisture in there, they pack down very tightly. Flowers, green leaves, manures, somebody might recognize these, uh, horse apples they're called. <laughs> Table scraps, so all of the things that uh, when you're pre preparing dinner, you've got uh, the ends of the vegetables and things like that you're gonna throw away, the vegetable scraps. You don't wanna put a lot of meat in here, you know, when you're talking about table scraps. Uh, Anna's gonna talk later about what not to put in the compost pile, but you know, you don't put the meats and cheeses and fats in there. Uh, fruit scraps, and you can use weeds, but again, be careful with this if they've got a lot of seeds in there, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get that compost good and hot to make sure you kill those seeds. Now that's just a few of the things that you can you put in your compost. 
there's going to be a list later talking about even more of these type things. But um, don't be afraid to use some of the materials that you got around your house. There's, this is basically, we're talking about nutrient recycling, but we, this is recycling paper and things like that. Instead of destroying them and disposing them, we can turn them back into something use, useful. So again, Dr. Joe and Anna mentioned earlier, please post all your questions to the message board and enjoy this educational tour that we've been giving you.